I think this is probably the hottest sim I've ever made. Alright, this is my sim for the first part of this legacy challenge. Her name is Justine Blair and I'm absolutely in love with her. So she's going to be an actress, that's going to be her career path. And you actually get to pick the traits of your first sim that you create. You have to randomize the rest. So I got to pick her traits, I made them high maintenance, outgoing, and ambitious. And obviously her aspiration is to be an actress. Now I'm not really good at creating like facial structures for sims, so this was a little bit hard. I tried my best. <laughs> I did end up using a face template, but um, other than that, I tried my best on every other part of her. One of the requirements for this challenge is that you do have to have a face scar. This is the face scar that I chose. Um, I think it makes her look really, really, really cool. And I actually love the way that it turned out. So I kind of see, I honestly don't remember the pronouns that I gave Justine, but I kind of see um, them using like she, they pronouns. I think I ended up picking um, they, them pronouns for her. But I see them using like she, they pronouns and just like switching between the two. I make my sims in a really, really weird way to where I do like all of their face and like their hair and piercings and stuff and like their head accessories and glasses and all of that and then I go to the body because I play on Xbox and it's absolutely awful going back and forth between everything, so. doing create a sim because I get bored very easily of it and there's just so many options that I never truly go into create a sim knowing what I want my like sim style to be so it's a little bit hard for me and I do get kind of bored but with her I wanted I wanted them to be kind of like edgy a little like black and stuff so they were pretty easy to like dress but sometimes I just like go in and I'm like I don't know I don't know what color scheme I want also, I absolutely hate that I have to change, like, the nails on every outfit. <laughs> it annoys me so much. But if I'm doing nails or, like, rings or, like, jewelry that they wear every day, I go through and I do all of that first before I even start more of the, more of the outfits. use the long dresses in this game I don't know why I just don't find any of them like really appealing but I did really like this red one that I picked for them somehow the shoes that they already gave her matched perfectly with her athletic outfit and I was really really impressed Party, I kind of already knew what I wanted to give her. Um, I really, really wanted this like little romper that they have. And I remembered it a lot cuter than it actually was, which I was like a little disappointed in, but it's still really, really, really cute. And I think I only really used the black swatch and that's why I was kind of thrown off by the white one that I had originally picked because I didn't want her to wear white for party, but I just I ultimately ended up with black because I just like the way that looks more.
So I did her hot weather outfit solely based off of this hat because I had never seen this hat in the game. I think it's new and it was honestly super duper adorable. So I was like, the whole outfit has to be based off of this hat. And then I couldn't find like a pink that matched. And I was like really nervous to be like, I think this matches and then it doesn't match and then looks stupid. So I just went with all black, but the hat is so cute. Now it's time to do makeup. I think doing the makeup is so tedious, low-key. So I kind of truthfully just brushed through this and kind of just went with like basically the same look for almost all of them because I mean, she would kind of wear the same look for like every day. I tried to like switch it up a little, like I did a little bit of pink for the hot weather because of the hat and stuff. So I tried to switch it up a little bit, but I mainly kept it the same for the most part. Same with the eyeliner. I kind of just picked something dark and heavy because um, I feel like that's what they would wear. So that's kind of what I went with. With the blush, I did the same blush on every look. I did kind of like a bronzer because I just don't think the pink blush on The Sims looks good, like at all. I find lipstick so hard in The Sims. I never know what I want to go for. Whoever added this highlight to the game, absolutely a lifesaver. This makes my sims look so much more alive and I just love adding it. 